In this video, we're going to start building our application by creating a form, which is the foundation of any application. All right, so let's begin building our application. What we're looking at right now is the creator dashboard. I've got a bunch of components already in this account, like applications, integrations, and analytics dashboards, but we don't need to worry about all these boxes in the middle right now. Your account might look blank, but eventually as you build more, it'll be populated like this. There's also a bunch of administrative functions on the left-hand side of the screen. We're going to ignore those for the time being, and we're going to jump into creating a solution by cl clicking the blue button in the top right corner. Here, we're prompted with three different options for the types of solutions we want to create. In this case, we're building an application, so we're going to select the first, and we'll dig into analytics and integrations in future videos. When we select create new application, there's a couple options that appear here. Creating from scratch, which is what we're going to be doing. You can pick something from a gallery, and we have about 50 some odd applications that are pre-built. Each one of these have forms, reports, pages, workflows, fully functional. You can install these and start using them right away. You can install them and customize them, or you can just install them, take a look at how they're built, and then use that as inspiration to build your application. Additionally, you can import from a file. So if we're reinstalling an application that was backed up from another creator account, or you want to create an application from a spreadsheet, you can select this option. In this case, we're making something from scratch, so I will select that and give my application a name. There's an option for enabling environments. We're not going to get into that right now. It's a little bit more of an advanced developer feature, and we'll cover that in future videos. What we're looking at now is the application builder. Here is going to be where we can build, configure, and customize every component of an application itself, from pages, reports, workflows, and forms themselves. So you can see here, most of the options are grayed out, and the only thing we can really do is start our application by creating a form. So I will go ahead and select on that. And here we get a couple different options as well. Similar to when we were creating an application, we can make something from scratch, we can import data, we can create a form from a template, so there's a bunch of templates pre-made, or we can use an integrated data source, like a third-party service that we want to connect with. For the purpose of this tutorial series, we'll be creating something from scratch, so I'll select that option, and now I need to name my form. What we're looking at now is the form builder screen. It can be a little overwhelming, but don't worry, we try to make it super simple. You can build the entire form with just dragging and dropping. Since we're building a vacation request form, we're going to want some way for an employee to enter their name. To give the employees that ability, all we have to do is select this name field on the left hand side and drag it over to the right. We see a panel appear on the right hand side. This panel is a field properties panel and has extra options to customize your fields. Every field type will have some different properties associated with it. For example, here we have the option to set a prefix or a suffix, and also some privacy options that are enabled by default. The first change we're going to make in the field properties is going to be renaming this field. So I can just rename it to employee name. And you can see here the field link name got updated automatically. The field link name we'll worry about a little bit later, but it's going to be how we can programmatically access the data in this form using our scripting language Deluge. But don't worry about it right now, we'll get to it a little bit more later. All right, now that we have our employee name field, we need to add a couple more fields in order to get all the information we need for a vacation request. To do that, we'll add a date field, and this is going to be for when the vacation starts. So we'll put, and we'll add another date field for vacation and date. Now, when I added these two date fields, you'll see some of the field properties on the right are a little bit different. Um, in this case, because it's employees asking for days off, if I wanted to, I could say maybe turn off Saturday and Sunday because those are already holidays, but we'll assume that people are working seven days a week and they can request any day off. Now, the last field I want to add here is going to be a number field, and this number field is going to be used to calculate how many days they requested based on the end date and the start date. So here I'll put vacation off. And that's it. Our form is created. I can go ahead and click done here in the top right corner. And if I want to access the application to see what the employees will see, I can go ahead and click on this blue button in the top right corner and we'll be taken to what we call the live mode. So this is the application up and running that anybody could access if we had given them uh, permission to do so. So we've got our form created and I can go ahead and create a sample entry here. So I'll put in Alvin 
the chipmunk and they are going to request Monday to Wednesday off and that is three days of vacation and I click submit. So that request has been added to the system now. So you're probably wondering where the information we just submitted actually went. Well, if you go over here to the left hand side and select all vacation requests, we'll see a report that gets automatically created with every single form. And this report is going to be where data is going to be visualized. There's a bunch of different report types. We'll have videos on those later on in this series. But for now, we've basically created our first form and we've added some information and we've been able to see what information was added. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.